Hey everyone, welcome back to Jersey Kitchen. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you what a full week of meals looks like in my life as a vegan. Completely realistic, I didn't do any extra planning or preparation that I wouldn't normally do. So I have a very, you know, imperfect diet. I do my best to get a fair amount of whole foods in over the course of a week, but there are some days when I'm busy or lazy, and I think that's fine. It all kind of evens out, and I just wanted to give you kind of a realistic window into my day-to-day -day eating habits, and maybe it gives you some ideas too. Today's video is sponsored by Ritual, and you can use the link in the information box below and use my code if you want to get 10% off your first three months with them. I'll say more about them later, but for now, I'm just going to dive right into my week of eating. I did not include specific recipes for everything because then we'd be here forever, but any relevant recipes that I have, I'll have linked in the information box below as well. A quick word first, I have coffee pretty much every single morning. I've been doing cold brew lately because it's been so hot here in Colorado. So I do cold brew, a little bit of this half and half, this is my favorite creamer. And then we also have some of this sugar-free syrup by Tarani. So it's been this combination. I'm not gonna show it every single day because it's the same thing. slice of bread, Kite Hill cream cheese, some sliced cherry tomatoes, and put some nooch on there too, and salt and pepper. For lunch, we've got some white rice, some seasoned pinto beans, avocado, tomatoes, I put in place of sour cream, some of this plain Hulina yogurt, my favorite yogurt, and I'm gonna add some of this on there. We decided to have a burger night tonight. We've got Beyond Burgers, Day of Cheddar, Pickles, tomato, lettuce. Eric boiled us up some corn. I made the salad with the coleslaw mix. And then I have a little bit of this spicy, sp spicy, <laughs> spicy cashew butter dressing, Trader Joe's. Uh, a little bit of this mayo on my burger and some ketchup. Oh, and I also added in some mashed avocado in there, some diced uh, tomatoes. Yeah, looks good. Today, instead of our usual cold brew, we are revisiting the Dalgona coffee trend. So this is just the Dalgona whip on top of some almond milk. We got breakfast. Eric made us a just egg omelet, got scallions on there. This is the jackfruit sausage that I showed earlier in the video. This is our potatoes. I just boiled them first till they were tender, then tossed them in some olive oil salt and pepper and air fried them till they got nice and crispy. Got ketchup for the potatoes. And then we're gonna share this big bowl of sauteed spinach and mushrooms. Yeah. Homemade sourdough bread with the country crock vegan butter, the olive oil one. I'm gonna put a little bit of this za'atar seasoning on it. And also, this is my weakness, diet soda. <laughs> First time trying this za'atar seasoning. It is so good. It's got sesame seeds, thyme, marjoram, coriander, oregano. Highly recommend. The lemon oil really comes through. It's really nice. And that is our last slice of bread, so it is time to wake up sourdough starter, Howie, so we can make a new loaf. occurred to me I completely forgot to film what I had for dinner last night so I'm just gonna show you the leftovers we were working on a project till really late and we ended up just going to get pizza so we went to mod pizza they have non-dairy mozzarella so I got that just regular red sauce and I got broccoli red onions pineapple uh, some basil mushrooms some green bell peppers I think that's everything so I had everything that's not here and then we split a big salad as well so i wanted to pause and say a few quick words about the sponsor of today's video i'm working with ritual i have been taking their multivitamin since 2019 i love it you take two capsules a day just helps you fill in any gaps there might be in your diet it's got nine nutrients including d3 omega-3s b12 
and iron, just things that can be a little bit difficult to get enough of even if you are eating a well-rounded diet. It is vegan friendly, of course. It's also free of sugar, GMOs, gluten, and other allergens. And it's a subscription, so it comes straight to your door. It comes in 100% recycled packaging. Even the mailer that it comes delivered in is made out of recycled newspapers and plant fibers, and they use plant-based ink. I take their Women's 18 Plus, but they also have a men's teens, kids, pre and postnatal, and a women's 50 plus formula. So they have something for every age and stage of life. And they are also now offering plant-based protein. If you'd like to check out Ritual, you can go to ritual.com slash Sarah's Vegan and use the code Sarah's Vegan for 10% off your first three months. And I'll have that down below as well. So we're trying out this new Hooray Foods plant-based bacon. It's like, um, it is coconut oil, rice flour, and tapioca starch base. It smells super convincing. And it looks pretty convincing too. Oh, there's some bread. Sourdough sandwich bread. I'll leave the recipe that I used down below. It's from the Clever Carrot blog, so we're toasting that. You guys, look at that. They're getting crispy. Do you hear this? Yeah, that's so cool. Okay, we're constructing our BLT. Got some avocado. This is what the bacon looks like cooked. We blotted off some of the oil. Tomato. More of this plant-based mayo spread. Lettuce. There she is. She's beautiful. I put everything in the wrong order. Everything's slipping, slipping around. All right. So messy. Bacon, good? Mm-hmm. Realistic? I think so. It's a little hidden in the sandwich, but mm -hmm. it's salty, it's crunchy, it's smoky. I like it. I want you to try it. I'm sure mine's going to fall apart, too. Mmm. That's really good. They nailed it with the salt, right? Mm -hmm. The salt and the smoke. I mean, in a sandwich, mm -hmm. that's bacon. That's the best vegan bacon we've had, I think. Oh, yeah. By far. I feel like we should fry it more and try it on its own. Sure. I think what happens with a lot of vegan bacons is that they overdo it mm -hmm. and put spices and herbs and stuff in it, but bacon doesn't have that in it. Mm -hmm. Bacon's just like meat flavor and smoke and salt. And I think it's mostly smoke and salt. And they got it. They mm -hmm. did it. It's super crispy. Mm-hmm. Yo. Mm-hmm. Here's lunch. This is actually Eric's. I'm showing you this one because it's prettier than mine. But we have leftover bibimbap. All these vegetables have just been sauteed, carrots, red bell pepper, zucchini, the mung beans I boiled, mushrooms, and they all just have a little bit of sesame oil and salt on them. Have some air fried tofu that I put some soy sauce, garlic and onion powder on, some kimchi, gochujang sauce, so there's gochujang, soy sauce, sesame oil, some sesame seeds, a little bit of sugar, and some rice wine vinegar in there, and then scallions, and then lots of rice underneath there. And here's mine. We are having a sushi night, so Eric made our rice, some teriyaki tofu, we've got cucumber avocado, carrots, scallions are for the miso soup that I have cooking. This is some chopped up kimchi. I've never tried putting this in sushi, but I thought we would today. We like to put peanuts and avocados in a roll, and then our nori. And then for our miso, I like to always add in some of this seaweed, this wakame, and then some dried shiitake mushrooms. Completely forgot to mention this while I was eating it, but I just finished the last bit of this Kalina yogurt. This is the sour cherry and almond flavor. It's so good, my favorite yogurt by far. For lunch, we are having leftover pizza. All right, just finished filming, and then I also started a new loaf of sourdough bread. I've been back into making bread every week. And I've been snacking on these dolmas from Trader Joe's. Eric and I both just had a few. These are so good. Highly recommend if you haven't tried them yet and you have a Trader Joe's nearby. Although I've been told that the quinoa ones are really disgusting, so just, you know, avoid those. But these are so good. We're making a big salad for dinner. 
The base is a mixture of romaine, kale, shaved Brussels sprouts. What else is in here? Shredded cabbage, carrot, and then I chopped up some radishes as well. There's just a ton of stuff in here. There's some edamame, some chopped up avocado, sliced up some mandarin oranges, cilantro, scallions. And then to add a crunch, I added some chopped up peanuts, some slivered almonds, and some roasted sesame seeds. And the dressing is just kind of like a peanut dressing I threw together. Serving this with some of the chickenless morsels that I have in the air fryer from Trader Joe's. The following morning, we made some Dalgona coffee with almond milk. Super late Sunday morning breakfast. I threw some Trader Joe's hash brown potatoes in a pan with a little bit of oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder. And then I made some just egg with some chopped up scallions and lots of pepper too. Not a vegetable in sight. I guess scallions are vegetables. Yes. Um, we got secret aardvark. Just bought some of this finally. It's really good. Very spicy though. Mm -hmm. Extremely spicy. Very, very tasty. So yeah, just a little pre-walk, pre-workout meal. Mm -hmm. Here's my lunch. This is leftover pasta with roasted vegetables. So we've got some Brussels sprouts, broccoli, some cherry tomatoes I cut in half, some red bell pepper. I also have some chopped marinated artichoke hearts and some sun-dried tomatoes that I soaked to rehydrate in boiling water and then just chopped up. Oh, there's some zucchini I roasted in there as well. And this is the high protein chickpea pasta that Barilla makes. So yeah, looks good. Every time I make pasta for dinner, I make extra so I can have leftovers. Then I topped it with a little bit of the Parmesan, the vegan Parmesan from Whole Foods. So I liked yesterday's dinner so much that I thought we'd have the same thing again. So I prepped a bunch of that earlier. I made more of that salad blend, sliced up some oranges, and then I pre-prepared the, um, just the same peanut dressing. It's got like peanut butter, chili paste, some vegan oyster sauce, which is like mushroom based, some soy sauce, a little bit of ginger and garlic. So we'll probably actually have leftovers after tonight. And then instead of the morsels, we have some baked crispy tofu. Just marinated it in some soy sauce with garlic powder and onion powder, salt and pepper. Tossed it in some olive oil and cornstarch and baked it at 425 until it was nice and crispy. And then in here we're making a few of the Trader Joe's vegan gyoza. Got some vegetable gyozas going in here in the air fryer. It's 10 p.m. and I just had a sudden craving for cinnamon rolls. So I looked online, I just typed in single serving cinnamon roll and I got this recipe, I'll link it down below. It's from the Dessert for Two blog. Here they are. It makes really tiny ones. I actually cut them half as large as the recipe directs and then threw together a quick cream cheese icing. This is the vegan cream cheese I have right now. So I'll show you the texture of these. Again, it's not like a yeasted dough, L literally took 10 minutes to make. Somewhere between the texture of like a coffee cake and a sugar cookie, but it's really good. You guys, I'm about to make the tiniest cinnamon roll ever. This is a uh, little soy sauce dish for sushi. Cute. So I'm fully addicted to the salad, so I've made it again. The only difference is I used almond butter instead of peanut butter in the dressing this time. It's really good. I have two of the Trader Joe's vegetable gyoza. I'm gonna dip them in this sweet chili sauce, also from Trader Joe's. I don't really recommend this brand. It's not that good. If you have an Asian market nearby, I recommend the May Ploy or My Ploy brand. So we're making a chilled noodle salad, and here we have some chapje noodles, uh, lots of vegetables. We've got carrots, bell pepper, some shredded zucchini. Actually, I used a mandolin, so julienne zucchini, uh, some scallions, 
and some bean sprouts that we boiled. We ran it all under cold water, so it is cold. This is some of the soon tofu, the silken tofu that comes in a tube. It's the kind that comes like this. And I just sliced it and fried it on both sides. I was super lazy about seasoning this, so I just kind of added some sesame oil, some sriracha, black pepper, some soy sauce, some of this oyster sauce that I mentioned before. We use this all the time, it's really, really good. And then I think we're gonna serve it with um, some of this kimchi that I made. And then this tofu I just seasoned with some salt and pepper and some garlic and onion powder, but Eric also made really simple sauce with more of this oyster sauce and some of this chili garlic paste. So we're gonna dip these in that too. Forgot the scallions. For dessert, I'm going to attempt to make, I think it's a TikTok viral, like, mug cake thing. Take Oreos, four of them. You add some milk, we got some soy milk here. Mash them up, add a little bit of flour, sugar, cocoa powder, and baking powder, and then microwave it for a minute. And it's supposed to be really good, it looks really good. I've also heard you can just make it with Oreos and milk, you don't have to add all the other stuff, so. We'll see, I'll probably end up, end up trying that variation as well. Oh my god, I just missed it. It was 11-11 as I was putting this in. Right. It's, it's bound to be good, right? Yes. <laughs> A minute. I don't know if you can really see, but it looks really good. People, make this. I took my contacts out and I'm not wearing my glasses which means I have to go like this in order to see where I'm scooping. Mmm. You know, I was skeptical that I needed the extra sugar, so I didn't add the full tablespoon. And now that I'm trying it, I'm like, it does need more sugar, mm. doesn't it? A little bit. It needs like icing. It's good. It's really fluffy. Yeah, it is good. I'm gonna try to zoom in on that texture. Yo, it's so good. I feel like I've tried other mug cake recipes and they come out so gummy and dense. Somehow this magically works. I like when you say yo. Yo. Breakfast, we have a slice of our homemade sourdough bread. Got this garden veggie cream cheese. It was on clearance at Target. And then I'm gonna top it with some of this everything but the bagel seasoning. So I had made some of the washed flour seitan for a video. I'm not sure if it'll be, it should be up by the time that you're watching this one, so I'll link it down below if you're curious. And I chopped it up and marinated it in my carne asada marinade, which I usually use for my soy curl, so I'll link it down below if you'd like to make it, it's pretty good. Got these taco shells. I've got some Simple Truth cheddar shreds. Melting the cheese on our shells right now. And then in here, we have some chili seasoned pinto beans. Let me show you the can. I just picked these up at Target. Um, so there's just tomato paste and a couple of different spices in here. They smell really good. Then to top them, I have mashed avocados, some shredded iceberg lettuce, and I made some pico de gallo. Well, what a brilliant catch to start a game with the greatest of eat. One thing you're seeing from Harvey that I didn't see in City Field. That's it for this full week of eating. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you like this format or if you prefer, you know, detailed recipe breakdowns for everything that I show. Happy to do whatever you guys prefer. Again, thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this video. You can use my code in the information box to get 10% off your first three months with them. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.